Hello to all IT service management professionals and project managers around. My name is Dimitri Hrip. I'm a content creator for Divinity. We are an Atlassian Platinum Solution Partner with more than 14 years on the market, leading the ITSM segment of the ecosystem with our apps for Jira Service Desk. Over 27% of Fortune 500 companies have improved their customer support operations with our products and services, including Airbnb, Airbus, Apple, Cisco or Spotify. We believe that technology is the way to enhance teams' performance and drive companies' business results to the global scale. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about the most wanted feature bundle for Jira Service Desk, which is Extension, our best-selling app on the Atlassian marketplace. The app used on over 2,000 Jira instances provides a bunch of tools to improve security, usability and appearance of the solution. Recently, we've released the version 6.0 with new features, improvements and increased performance. So today, I'd like to show you how this new version works in detail, what features and improvements we added to it, as well as explain some use cases when you can benefit from them at most. Before we start digging into the new version, I'd like just to quickly remind you of the key features that the app provides. It allows to display SLAs, SINEs names, attachments, linked issues and external links on the customer portal to enhance its user experience. Manage access to request types, fields, options, requirements and SLAs to maintain issue security. Build dynamic forms and multi-level field structures to improve usability and appearance of your service desk. This is a big bunch of new possibilities for your support team, but this time we'll focus on the things which we've added or improved in the 6.0 release. Let's take a look inside and see what's new. To help you set extension up and running faster, we've added the Get Started page, which is the first screen you see after you install the app. On this page, you can find short descriptions of its features and links to their respective global configurations. More of these links are available on the side panel of the add-ons section and project-specific configurations are situated under the respective project settings. The first link directs you to the configuration of our newest feature, Organizations and Group Sync. As its name states, you can add users from Jira groups to organizations and synchronize them to update automatically. This feature was originally a custom request by BusinessWire a global communication software developer. It actually had been the case with some other key features of the app. For example, the idea for dynamic forms came from MetLife. Check out their case study on our blog to dig into the history. The link is in the video description. In this case, the company's service operations department had their internal customers assigned to Jira user groups, so they needed to link those with the organizations to improve the configuration process. It was a smart idea, and we felt that many companies would relieve from automating it, so we decided to include it into the Marketplace version as well. I'll publish the full business wire case study soon. Stay tuned to our social media if you're interested. There are two types of configuration available, manual and automatic. With manual configuration, you choose an organization, which must be created beforehand, and the user groups you'd like to add to it. You can add multiple groups to one organization, and not vice versa. All the users from the selected groups will be added to the organization automatically. Using the automatic configuration method, you can create organizations directly from user groups in the projects you select, with all the users assigned to them automatically. The organization name, then, will be the same as the user group name. Please note that here you provide the user groups that you want to exclude from the synchronization process. After you set up, all that's left is to provide a synchronization interval and enable it. You can perform the sync manually at any moment by clicking the Sync Now button. The second thing that we've improved is Dynamic Forms. In the Extension app, this is a feature used on the customer portal, as opposed to the standalone Dynamic Forms for Jira app, which is dedicated to Jira software. They are identical in terms of features though, so this is just for your information. For those who've never used it, this feature allows to display or hide fields and tabs on a Create Issue screen based on previous selections. So if you have a complex form with lots of options, you can show users only what's relevant to the context, this saves much time on creating requests, simplifies the interface of your Jira service desk and boosts the user experience of the solution. The most common example of dynamic forms in use is a request for new hardware purchase. Depending on what exactly you need, you'll see a different set of options each time. This allows you to put computers, servers, monitors, cell phones and all the other stuff into a single request type and not to forget any important information to provide your admin with. In effect, the requests are easier to submit and will be resolved faster. The main change of dynamic forms in the latest update is the revamped configuration panel, which structures your options and fields, making the setup process much easier. 
From now on, you can do it in three simple steps. First, you have to create your custom fields, which you will add to the form. Go to Administration, Issues, Custom Fields, hit Add Custom Field and select the field type. The good news is that we've added support for multi-select, cascading select, checkbox and radio button field types, in addition to single select, dynamic select and text fields. This dramatically increases the app's capabilities in terms of form building, so you can get really creative with them. On the next screen, provide the field's name and the options you would like to let your users choose from. After that, add the newly created field to the screens on which they will appear, and also add it to the appropriate request types in the project settings, otherwise the whole setup won't work. Now you are ready to configure the dynamic form itself. The global configuration for all your projects is situated in Administration Add-on section. There you configure the fields shared across all your Jira Service Desk projects. The project configuration is under the project settings of your target project. Hit the blue button to create a new form and choose the master field, and then select the related fields for each of the options. You can make those fields required, keep the default value if there is one provided in the custom field settings, and specify the context for them to appear. If you choose to disable a form, it will remain there as a draft and will be available for later use. There is also a link at the global configuration to go to a project one, simply by choosing the appropriate project on the dialog window. The global settings are shown there by default. You can disable them for the given project and apply changes, or configure something entirely new. That's it, you are done. Now your users will fill in the dynamic form you've set up on the Create Issue screen. Working with requests in Jira Service Desk, often there is a situation when users need to provide small chunks of information as part of a greater whole. For example, geographical locations, used software versions, hardware and network specifications, test case steps, or deployment options. In such cases, you have to create a massive amount of custom fields to store this information and keep it structured, which can slow down the software significantly. But this isn't the case anymore as we've developed bundle fields which allow to store multiple pieces of information in a single custom field. It is then displayed on screens as an additional form which you can update at any moment. In the 6.0 release, we've added a possibility to specify the default number of rows for every bundle field, support for the date picker field type and exporting these fields to the XML format. Let's go on with the example of a purchase request and see how bundle fields can help. If someone purchases hardware from you on behalf of their company, they often need to provide two addresses for shipping and for billing. They do not always match in case of a big organization, and you may often store different parts of customers' addresses in different fields to search through the database faster. This is where bundle fields come in handy. Instead of having a separate custom field for every city, street, zip code or whatever, you can bundle them all as a whole. Just imagine how short your custom field list may become with this feature. To configure a bundle field, the first step is to add it to Jira and assign it to the screens where you want to display it. Even though this field type is delivered exclusively by the app, you still do it in the custom field settings. You can quickly proceed there by clicking the plus icon in the bundle fields configuration. Obviously, you can have more than one bundle field set up for different purposes, but keep in mind that each of them must be added to Jira separately. Also, just like with dynamic forms fields, remember to add them to the appropriate request types, otherwise they will not be shown on the customer portal. After that, come back to the configuration and set up the fields you've created. You can add a hint to help users fill in the form, choose the alignment of the fields display and turn the dynamic configuration option on or off, which allows users to add new rows when filling in the form. Then provide the rows of fields to bundle and make some of them required if you need it. The show label toggle turns showing the subfield names on or off. You'll see how a bundle field looks like with the settings at the bottom of the configuration screen. Then save the setup and from now on your users will fill in this form when creating an issue or a help desk request. What's more, you can search for information stored inside a bundled field as easily as you do with any other field in Jira. There is the dedicated jQuery searcher which helps filter issues with a specific bundle field having a certain value stored in it. You can specify a subfield by adding the third argument, for example this one, will return you all the purchase requests with a specified delivery date. We've added the same searcher to the dynamic forms for Jira standalone app, which appears there as issue in bundle fields df. Let's quickly sum up what we've seen today. At first sight, Jira Service Desk sometimes seems to be lacking features out of the box and having technical limitations to use it at organizations. 
but as it is a highly customizable and flexible tool, we've dealt with those limitations and keep adding more and more eagerly requested features. Organizations and groups sync automates matching users to organizations, saving your time on Jira configuration. Dynamic Forms simplifies the request submission process and helps build in the winning user interface of your service desk, tailored to each of your customers. With the help of bundled fields, you can clean up the database and significantly reduce the amount of custom fields, which improves Jira's performance and usability, especially if you're struggling with a lot of custom fields, which a lot of companies do. We've got plans to make Jira Service Desk even more customizable with the extension app. We'll add the possibility to import and export dynamic forms to use them on multiple instances, as well as show subtasks on the customer portal. Later on this year, we'll release the new request screen for Jira Service Desk, which will substitute the default My Requests one if you use extension. You'll be able to create custom filters for the requests and save them for later use. All the columns will be sortable, and the view will be customizable by drag and drop. We are also going to rework the multi-level structure feature completely and start working on the cloud version of this app. Subscribe to our newsletter at divinity.com support to get all the news first. If you consider enhancing your Jira service desk even more than that, check out other apps by Divinity on the Atlassian marketplace. Translation is the ultimate tool for multilingual customer portal and server instances. It features translating every custom field in your project, even those containing HTML, and translate common text just once with a key value model. The Actions app lets your users execute workflow actions with transition screens on the customer portal and thus implement ITIL best practices in customer support. And our Queues app is an enhancement of default Jira Service Desk queues with cross-project support, improved usability and security of service operations. Want to know more? We are blogging about IT service management tips, tricks and business cases at divinity.com on Medium and on the Atlassian community. Product documentation, information about the events we take part in and the webinars we host are available at divinity.com support. You can also find us on LinkedIn, Twitter and Facebook. Follow Divinity apps by the links you see on the screen to track the latest news from our company and the Atlassian ecosystem. In case of inquiries regarding our products, please get in touch with the Divinity support team by emailing at support at divinity.com, dropping a line into live chat at our support webpage or booking a live session on canadly.com/divinity. Have a nice day and see you next time.